Alrighty guys, I am sorry for some reason for some reason my uh, my phone went into uh, portrait orientation not landscape. So it messed up. I apologize. So here we are again. Check this out. Look what we got. We are cruising in the autopilot. I know a lot of you guys are like, man, it's about time. I tell you what, man, it's been a while for me being on autopilot. A good about three to four, I would say four months now she is purring like a cat what's up Justin to evaluate out your brother got the uh the old town we're cruising along the bank line trying to catch the fish here had a good day so far what's going on welcome to the live stream guys lots of alligator gar out here lots of alligator gar um more than I can bargain and they're like black I've never seen black alligator gar before usually they're like red or like beige or polka dots on them these dudes, these dudes are straight up like charcoal, man. I'm, I can't believe how dark and black they are. What's up, man? What's up? Welcome. I know, finally on the boat. Tell me about it. I'm finally on my kayak. And yes, I got my battery, guys. That's that's what's up, man. I got I got my battery, and that's why I am fishing from my kayak. Uh, I got to make some adjustments. I got to make some adjustments on my kayak here. Um, for example... I need a new, I need a new, um, whatchamacallit, a live stream stick, <laughs> a selfie stick, because I can't seem to orientate it, orientate it proper enough to get a good full picture. And at the same time, you guys hear me. So that's that. I'm cruising along in the, in the uh, marsh, as I stated. Uh, if you guys have, hard, have a hard time hearing me, let me know, and I'll make the adjustment. But um, the speed is good, man. The speed is good. Um, like I said, I have a new lithium iron battery. I got hooked up. Loving it, man. Only weighs 26 pounds. It's from Amped Outdoors. Um, so mad shout out to my boys at Amped Outdoors. They hooked the battery up and the charger and I am cruising, man. I've been fishing about, I would say about five hours now. Uh, it's been slow fishing, but I, I was able to get a nice couple of keepers. Video coming soon. But, uh, what's up guys? I'm going to see if I can catch a fish on a live stream because how do I deal with the wind? <laughs> well, the best way to deal with the wind is to, is to fish the shoreline that's uh, with the wind. So for example, if you have a south shoreline, you or I'm sorry, if you have a south wind, you want to fish the south shoreline. Uh, north, north, obviously, east, west, et cetera, et cetera. Always fish the wind direction if that makes any sense and more often than not you'll be protected so for example we have a north north east wind today i think uh that's kind of shifting towards the east and right here on this shoreline right here i don't know if you guys can see but right here this shoreline this is the shoreline look how calm it is if i showed you behind it you'll see white caps so um yeah a little bit of wind the uh weather is pretty good I can't complain I just need to catch some fish man I had a nice I had a nice flounder on guys a nice flounder the dude was pulling drag when you have a flounder that pulls drag you know that's a that's a good flounder and um, uh, which band am I using right now I'm using the black and gold curl tail 1 8 ounce with the uh, with a chartreuse grub at the end my favorite setup for bugs, probably if you were just going to buy one bugs, that's probably what I just recommend you getting, is a curl tail, either one eighth ounce or the quarter ounce. Uh, but I've been flicking that all day long and um, doing pretty good. So yeah, man, I'm going to see if I can catch a fish on this live stream, guys. I know uh, I always say I try to, but you know it's really hard <laughs> to catch a fish on a live stream. I don't know why, it's just, it's just hard. Maybe it's because uh, I don't have good coordination or something. But man, why are you guys not fishing? Who's fishing? Let me know. You guys fishing out there? Because I feel like I'm the only one out in the marsh. I saw one other kayaker. I haven't seen anyone else. Are you guys here? Where are you guys at? This is, this is supposed to be Father's Day? Like, Father's Day is like a month-long celebration, right? <laughs> That's what I tell my wife. I'm like, hey, man, listen. Well, I don't call her man. <laughs> She'll slap me. I'm like, hey, honey, listen, it's Father's Day. And she's like, wait, Father's Day is not till like a month. 
I'm like, yeah, but Father's Day is like a month celebration. You know, they say happy wife, happy life. No, man. It's happy husband, happy life. I'm going fishing next week. All right, Dennis, my man. For a Father's Day gift, I hope. Hopefully, uh, hopefully a lot of you guys are got the pass to go out and fish for Father's Day. Hey, wait, Father's Day is next week, right? Well, anyways, it's a month-long celebration for me. <laughs> But I'm at the marsh, guys. Did I get pics of the new kayak? No, I, I didn't get any pics yet. No pictures. Man, but this kayak, this kayak, dude, this kayak gets so freaking shallow. I'm talking about, like, uh, if I'm in my Hobie Outback, I have to flutter. I have to flutter my uh, drive, but this thing, this thing just plows right through it. It's crazy. Um, and I don't know if Mark will ever share this, but he's actually figured out a way to rig his Minn Kota motor where it's actually like it can like, the mo motor could be running in like less than six inches of water and he's cruising along. So the other day when I was fishing with him, I was fluttering my kayak and we were less than six inches and he was just cruising right by me. And I was like, what the hell are you doing? He's like, oh yeah, I rigged it. I figured out how to rig it. So it just really gets really, really shallow. So that really impressed me. And I was hoping my battery will get here soon enough. And lo and behold, it came in the other day. So super happy. I guess when he comes back from his vacation, I'm gonna have him rig mine too. Probably not recommended by Old Town. It may void your warranty. <laughs> uh, but no more comments about that. But it's going to happen, hopefully. But this thing gets skinny, man. The sight being a, a big boat, this boat gets really, really skinny. You know, I thought there was going to be a lot of redfish in this back, back lake of this marsh. You know what? There's no redfish, man. It's just, like I said, black alligator gar. As I stated earlier, I've never seen black-colored alligator gar. Except today. I mean, it's so crazy. You can actually see them. The water's so stained and murky. But you can still see them in the water because uh, that black color just contrasts so well. I guess that's why uh, black colored paddle tails really work in our stained waters. Anyways, I'm digressing. What's up, guys? What's up, man? Tell me, tell me what y'all been catching. Honestly, I haven't really been catching much. place feels kind of fishy oh, you live in Japan that's awesome dude I want to fish Japan one day yeah this 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 section of the marsh notice how it's really calm hopefully you guys can see it right there like right there is really calm there might be some fish here or there might not be Nope, there's no fish here. It might be too hot, man. The water temp is 84 degrees. I know it's, it's going to get even hotter, man. I fished uh, water temps when they're in the 90s before. That thing is freaking hot, especially when it gets really shallow. Oh, dude, I thought I had a bite. It's just grass. Dude, what's so crazy is about this marsh I'm in right now, there's a lot of grass. I've never seen a marsh with this much grass in our south, uh, upper Texas coast. It's mind boggling. I really, it's like the craziest thing. I don't know what to tell you. I've never seen this before. All right, there's a drain right here. Let me throw a couple times in this drain. I apologize about the winds, guys. I know the winds are a little bit um, high right now. They're pretty nice this morning, but it kind of picked up. Yeah, there's mullet. There's mullet in this train. Or 
All right, one more cast in this drain. Nope, not happening. All right, what did I miss? No alligators. No, I haven't seen any alligators here, but there is no one to have alligators. I just haven't seen any today, luckily. Went to Rockport last weekend and some awesome trout, dude. That's awesome, man. I never have luck in Rockport. I don't know why. I'm always at the wrong place at the wrong time. Does that happen to you guys? Always at the wrong place, wrong time? It happens to me a lot. Did I get the new battery for the autopilot kayak? Yes, I did. Amped Outdoors hooked it up. They hooked the channel up. They sent the battery along with a charger. This thing is like still fully charged and I've been running it all freaking day long. I'm really, really happy with it. It only weighs 26 pounds. To put that in perspective, my lead acid, lead acid battery weighs 60 pounds. Do I ever go after sheep's head? Uh, you know, not really. I just, I don't know. I just don't like eating sheep's head. I guess I can do it for the sport, uh, but I don't know. I just really never had a conscious effort to really try to go for sheep's head. I guess I should, but I just find catching flounder redfish more exciting. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm, I may, may, maybe I'm weird like that. All right, super shallow here. Let me get out of this mud. Gotta think the water temp in shallow is hot. Yeah, it's uh, 84 degrees. Surface temp is pretty hot. That's why uh, I feel like the, the action is not good. It's because the water temp is so hot. But you'll see them. You'll see a couple of them straying here and there. Um, and that's when you take your opportunity. Usually the best time to fish on a hot day, honestly, is you know right at the sun up or perhaps kind of maybe an hour or two before sundown, but usually that's one of the hottest part of the day is uh, I just woke up. Have you caught anything? Yeah, I caught some fish. Do they have kayak rentals in a marsh area for visitors? No, I don't think so. I think your best bet is to rent from like uh, a dealership and then uh, rent it for like two days or whatever, how much it costs, and then take it to the marsh and then return it back. We spoke about you fishing with me. I've been on them lately. Okay, cool, man. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad you're catching fish. I'm not catching fish. <laughs> As I said, fishing, man, a lot of it has to do with luck. You know, it's either hit or miss. Uh, you know, the fish are not always going to stay at one place at one time. So it's kind of like the right place at the right time too. Yeah, man, I'm pretty happy with my uh, autopilot. What face mask do I use? This is a Sims. I'm not sure. I, it's, I think it's like a neck gator. I'm not sure exactly, but I, I have a couple of them. I had it for a good three years now. They are worth the money. If you can, if you, if you can, uh, if you can afford to buy Sims, man, I know they're expensive, but golly, Sims, like they're designed for fishermen because those guys are fishermen. I highly recommend Sims. But yeah, man, I think, uh, 
I think I'm gonna call it a day at the marsh. It's already noon time. I gotta start heading back. But I had a pretty good day. It's been it's been a grind though, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just really happy that I got my kayak back. A lot of you thought uh <laughs> a lot of you thought I got rid of it or something. Yeah, rightfully so. I haven't been using it for four months. So All right, we're leading out a channel of this back lake into a, a bigger back lake. And we're just kind of blind casting. This is the main channel. I'll tell you what though, man, it's, it's nice. It's nice to have a motorized kayak so you don't have to exert any energy. Right now, if I was in my Hobie, oh my God, I'd be dead tired. I'd be seriously dead tired. But, you know, just chilling with my uh, motorized kayak is doing all the work. I'm just chilling. I hear something. It's probably alligator gar. They're all over this place. All right, let's, let's speed up and get out of here. All right, we're gonna put it on speed setting eight. And <laughs> we're only going two miles per hour. <laughs> did you find, did you get new batteries? Yeah, I did. Amped outdoors, hooked the, hooked the channel up, lithium iron, uh, 100 uh, amp hour, um, nice battery, only weighs 26 pounds. Got the charger too, so I'm, I'm super excited. How much is the kayak? Uh, the kayak is, I want to, gosh, I forget. I think it's like at 3,500 for the 120 and the 136, which is a 13, 13 footer is uh, I think right at 4,000. Yeah, there you go, 3,800 bucks. But they're selling, man, they're all sold out everywhere. If you, uh, if you guys want to hurry up and get a Old Town Autopilot, I recommend you hurry up and get one because, man, they are sold out. And you're going to be on the wait list for a long time. Hold on a sec, all right? Hold on. All right. Yep, I want one, can't find one. Yeah, I know, man. They're like sold out everywhere. They are sold out everywhere. All right, hold on, let me get this, this bird's nest out of it. <laughs> All right. How long will that battery last? Man, I don't know, man. But uh, I would think it's going to last a long time. It's a, it's a very strong battery, to say the least. Very strong battery. Much better than the uh, marine lead acid batteries that you get from the auto parts store. All right, I'm trying to find my way out. This, this marsh is pretty complex. You guys ever worry, do you guys ever worry about getting lost in the marsh? I've gotten lost a lot of times. It's not a cool feeling. <laughs> Dennis says, I've used spin reels all my life. Is it easy to use bait cast reels? Um, for a beginner, no, it's not easy. Um, but if you, if, you, if you throw it a few times and you kind of feel, you know, how it turns and uh, how the line, you know, shoots out when you cast and you're able to control it, I mean, it's easy to pick up pretty quickly, in my opinion. 
but if a lot of new, if a lot of beginning people that ask me questions, what kind of reel they should buy, and they've never had any experience, I say just go with a spinning reel and practice on that. test line on Baycaster. This one right here is 10 pounds. This is a Japanese uh, Shimano straight from Japan. This thing is really smooth. It's real thin too. It's much thinner than what they offer in the U.S. And um, I usually buy most of my lines from Japan. If I don't buy them from Japan, I usually just go with Power Pro here in the U.S. And uh, 10 pound, 10 to, 10 to 15 pound is good enough for me. If I want to throw like a light light lures majority of the time, then I'll kind of stick with the 10 pound braid. What's up, James? Yeah, I finally got my battery in. Amped outdoors, hooked it up. Really, once again, a really nice battery, lithium ion, 26 pounds, only weighs 26 pounds, dude. The thing is freaking a, a beast. And uh, I've, I've been running this Minn Kota I've been fishing about five hours. I've been running this Minn Kota motor for about four and a half hours. Um, gave it a rest about 30 minutes because I was in a too, in too shallow of water. Wouldn't even turn anyway, so. But yeah, I got my battery. I'm gonna start using my autopilot more often now. Will I be selling my Hobie Outback? Oh, possibly. You guys interested? Who's interested in buying my Hobie Outback? Send me a Facebook message. If you're interested in buying my Outback, send me a, first you need to follow me on Instagram, rx underscore angler. Okay, here's the conditions, all right? I'm gonna be a, uh, I'm gonna be a dictator. If you wanna buy, if you wanna buy my Outback, which is the 2020, and if I decide to sell it, first you need to be subscribed to the channel. Number two, you have to follow me on Instagram, rx underscore angler. Number three, you have to like my Facebook page, Texas rx angler, and then send me a message through Facebook. I think that's fair enough. And then once I'm ready to sell it, first come, first serve. But I prefer to be local. Hopefully you guys are local. Because shipping a kayak, uh, yeah, I don't really want to get into that. Oh, there's a wake over there. Let me throw at it. Nope, just mullet. Yeah, the lithium battery weighs 26 pounds. No joke, 26 pounds. This thing is lightweight and it's that's what I said, man. Everyone's telling me, man, just use, just go buy a new lead acid battery. And I'm, in my head, I'm like, dude, no, I'm not going to spend another $100, $120 on a 60 pound battery for no apparent reason when I can put that money into lithium ion or lithium iron. So that's why, you know, the original battery that I bought was a lead acid battery. And that thing freaking broke. After the first time I took it out and really drained it all the way down, it broke. So. After that, I'm like, no, nah, man, I can't trust these lithium or I can't trust these these lead acid batteries because I fish so much. What if I'm like so far out like today? I'm far out from everyone. There's not a single soul out here. And what if my battery, you know, drains too much because I'm using it or if something happens and one of the cell dies, you know, what am I going to do? You know, just kind of stay the night here? Call Uber? Shh, they don't come out here to the marsh. So that's why going with a top dollar high quality lithium iron battery for the kayak like this or the, the Minn Kota 106 is highly recommended and uh that's what majority of the guys are doing when they're buying this platform so so pretty cool man pretty pretty cool i just saw some bait fish get blow up back there too bad i'm 100 yards away Yeah, so what's going on guys? 
Well, how long does it last? I'm not sure how long it lasts. I mean, it really depends. That's that's a hard question to answer because it really depends your load, your weight, um, what speed settings you have it on. Uh, there's a lot of factors that determine how long a lithium iron battery lasts. Um, like for example, I've been running it on, right now, a speed setting five and a half. I've been running it pretty much an average five and a half, six and a half all day. And uh, I just checked the meter and it's still on full power. How much does the new battery cost? When you buy lithium iron, it's, it's pretty expensive. It's not gonna be cheap like the lead acid, but like I said, you're, you're paying, you're, you're getting what you pay for. Uh, this battery is six, $699, 700 bucks. So yeah, it's pretty expensive. It's not for everyone, but definitely if you have the money, you know, spend it, invest in a good battery and you never have to worry about a battery again. It lasts and it's going to get you to point A to point B without any issues. And it'll get you to the far marsh like me. I'm like miles away from the launch, just fishing by myself. Full power in six hours. I believe so. I'm not sure exactly. I didn't really read the manual. All I know is I got it um, the other day and I plugged it in, fell asleep, woke up, and the light was green. <laughs> $6.99. Not bad. Where did you find it? It's from Amp Outdoors. I think the website is just ampoutdoors.com. Um, they just got a new shipment in, so if you're looking to get a 100 amp hour battery, hurry up because they sell out really fast because a lot of the guys that are purchasing these old town autopilots they're snatching them up really fast so, so I recommend getting them the 60 amp hour is another good option 60 amp hour is another good option to have um, but I decided to go 100 amp hour to really last me all day 60 amp hour I think weighs like maybe 16 pounds it's really lightweight and honestly honestly a lot of guys just go with a 60 amp hour because number one it's much cheaper and number two they don't fish for hours at end and um their spots like the freshwater guys they don't need to go that far because the lake is right the launch is right there the lake is right there and your fishing spot is not as big and complex like say our marsh system is so a lot of guys go 60 amp hour but if you're fishing like the marsh on our Texas upper coast, yeah, I recommend going 100 amp hour. That should last you really nicely. It's a really nice day out here in the marsh, man. I'm telling you what. I thought it'd be crowded being a Sunday, but so I only saw one other kayaker. Kind of crazy. I guess you guys are just staying home, huh? There's a drain right here. I'm going to throw out this drain. Nope. No one home. Where the fish go? <laughs> Man, I've been saying that for 2020. Where the, where the hell did the fish been in, in 2020? I know a lot. I know some people have been doing pretty good for 2020, but golly, 2020 has been pretty tough on me too. I only limit out on redfish twice this year. No, three times this year. Two or three times. I can't remember. Um, I haven't limited out on flounder in a while. I mean, I when I do catch a flounder. Uh, they're pretty good sizes, so I mean, after like one or two, I kind of stop because there's no reason for me to try to catch more. Uh, but man, it's it's been um, fishing's been tough. I don't know about you guys. Hopefully, you're having better luck than me. But I am. I I can't say, but 2020 has been good because I've caught my personal best snook, and I caught a monster gator trout with a topwater, my personal best topwater catch. So I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I'm out here solo. 2020 has been a bad nut shot so far. Yeah, man, 2020 has been crazy, man. There's a bunch of funny memes out there about 2020. 
it's just <laughs> it's been a crazy year dude it's been really crazy and what's what's even worse is a lot of this is like healthcare stuff but um they say once a hurricane does hit land like a major population area like houston or galveston and at the same time you have the flu season and the covid 19 still going crazy that's going to be super devastating so i mean i'm not even looking forward to that i don't know man that's going to be days maybe weeks before we start fishing again a non-motorized kayak would force me to exercise <laughs> Uh, well, that's another good point, man. If you have a manual pedal drive or paddle kayak, you know, you're burning a lot of calories, obviously. Whereas in this man, lazy man, the autopilot, it's just cruise control, man. I, I feel so refreshed. Like, usually if I'm in my Hopi Outback, I would be dead freaking tired right now, especially in the, in the heat like this, 90-something degree weather temp. It'd be, uh, it'd be crazy, dude. I already lost two rods this year. Oh, dude, that sucks, man. I hope they're not old 18 rods. That would really suck. That would get me angry. That's like a kick in the nuts. Do I like more of the Hobie or the Old Town? <clears throat> um... You know, everything has its pros and cons to it, right? Um, for me personally, I like the autopilot just because of the features, like the spot lock and the, um, obviously the motorized kayak, uh, how wide and stable it is, how skinny it can get in our marsh system. Um, the remote control, it's pretty good. The, um, the autopilot function right here. I mean, there's so many cool functions that I like about this. So I do prefer the autopilot over the Hobie Outback, but, but the Hobie Outback is no slouch itself. I mean, it's, it's a capable kayak. It gets skinny too. Um, it's just, you know, you're, you're powering obviously, um, through kinetic energy from your legs, but it's a good kayak too. I mean, just, it dep depends on what's going to be best for you and what type of fishing you like to do. If you like to do, you know, open bay along with, uh, fresh water, along with marsh fishing, then the autopilot would be absolutely probably the best kayak you can buy. If you're looking to do just simply just marsh fishing only and nothing else, you know, take a hard look at the Hobie Outback. Also take a hard look at uh, Old Town's other models like the uh, Sportsman uh, 120 PDL. That's another great kayak uh, to have that's um, comparable to the Outback in my opinion. Hey, what's up, Beto? Long time no see, man. I hope you're doing good. No, they were pens, thankfully. Okay, good thing it was an old 18. First time you're catching me on a live stream, man. Welcome, welcome. How many kayaks do I own? Right now, I only have two kayaks. At one point, I had one, two, I think up to four kayaks at one time. I know it's a crazy amount, but um, I guess that's one of the perks. That's one of the perks for um, for running a YouTube channel is uh, you get to try out the new products. That's one of the perks. So I've I've had my uh, fair share of kayaks, man. Uh, the Johnny Boat, the Boat Rover, Old Town, a couple of Old Towns, uh, the Hobie. Outbacks, the Hobie, um, what's that cheap Hobie? Gosh darn it, I'm having a brain fart. Passport, um, I mean, I've, I've had my fair share of kayaks, so I've had a lot of experience with kayaks so far. Glad I, oh, hey Pete, what's going on? Welcome in, yeah, I'm glad I got the new power pack too. It came in the other day. And um, this is my first time using it. And I can say with complete confidence, I am extremely happy. Uh, Amped Outdoors hooked it up. As I said, this is a lithium iron battery. 
It only weighs 26 pounds. It costs $699, which is absolutely a steal compared to the other lithium ion. Like if you're going to buy the FPV battery from Mariner Cells, that's $1,200. Uh, this one only runs 700 bucks. So you do the math, you're saving a lot of money and the, uh, the product is really, really good. Let's see, are you actually comfortable wearing all those clothes and gear, um, new subscriber? Yeah, man, uh, I mean, I guess it kind of, you have to kind of get used to it if this is your first time wearing layers like this, like long sleeve, a mask, uh, long pants. I mean, I do it for sun protection mostly because um, I, don't, I don't really like coming out to the marsh and fishing for six hours in shorts and a tank top. Uh, that's, a, that's a recipe for disaster for me. So I, I prefer wearing these long sleeves fishing gear. That's like, um, you know, polyester, the sweat, the performance stuff. And it's, how, it's treated me well. I've been using it three years strong. Really haven't bought, I've, I mean, I bought a couple of pants and shirts here and there, but my heart, my uh, core foundation stuff have, has been going strong for three years. Did I get rid of the boat rover? Yes, the boat rover is gone. I no longer have the boat rover. <laughs> yeah, boat rover's been gone, man. It's uh, It's been about a year now since I've had it. Johnny boat is gone. Um, all I have is two kayaks, the Outback and the Autopilot. Hopefully more platforms to come in the future though. Stay tuned. Yeah, with the YouTube thing, I always have to kind of keep up with what's going on with the market. Otherwise, I'm going to be left in the dust. That's just the way it is with YouTube. Oh, there we go. God, dude, I just got dumped right there. Dude, that had to be a flounder. Hold on. Spot lock. Dude, I love this spot lock thing. Dude, that was a flounder for sure. Just blind casting this apex right here. Check it out. This apex right here. I got smoked right on the grass line. And now I have spot lock on. Maybe he'll rebite it, but I don't think so. That's about flounder, man. Once they bite and you miss them, it's hard for them to get, get them to bite again. I don't know. Maybe you guys are more successful than me, but... It's like that's that's why when I when I lose a flounder, I'm like, oh man, I'm, it's not even worth me wasting that time trying to catch them again because I just I don't know, they just don't really bite the second time in my opinion. All right, well he's not there. Flounder are the hardest saltwater fish to catch, in my opinion. I agree, man. They're not, they're not easy, dude. They are not easy to catch. Oh, look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Flounder. Flounder. Oh, my God. I can't believe we caught a fish on a live stream. All right, hold on. Spot lock. Spot lock. See, I told you, man. Flounder. <laughs> Check it out, fellas. Look at that flounder on the curl tail. <laughs> we did it. We did it. We finally caught a flounder on, a, on the live stream, man. Who never, who, who thought it would happen? Because I never thought it happened, but let's get him out of here. He's a small guy. What do you guys think? What do you think? How big? How big do you think this, this potato chip is? Ah, you son of a. Curl tail, baby, black and gold, bouncing on the ground. 12 inches, 11 inches, 12 inches. Let's see, all right, let's see if you guys are right. Right there, 12 inches. Whoever guessed 12 inches, 
You are a human ruler, dude. <laughs> All right, my man. Oh, shoot. Dang it, dude. All right, brother, hold on. Golly, can you just stop? All right, guys, sorry. Forward to release. Check it out. Bye. Would you look at that, guys? Catching a flounder on a live stream. 2020 has been a, re a really weird uh, year so far. And it gets weirder by the minute. <laughs> All right, man, let's get out of here. Oh, great. Now I have a little parasite on my button there. You see it? A little parasite. They're like little boogers, man. They're like sticky. But yeah, man, dude, I can't, I can't believe it. Let's see if we can catch another one. So it looks like the tide is outgoing. That's where I caught him is right at the drain. Insane. Insane what can happen on live streams. Do I use a rudder to steer, just the motor? Yeah, uh, when I'm actually just cruising along using the, the, your, uh, the, the, uh, the foot pedals to steer your rudder, that's what's recommended. But like say if I'm standing up and I am just cruising like really slow along a shoreline trying to sight cast, then I'll just I'll, I'll manually control with the remote control. It's pretty cool, dude. Like, uh, so you don't have to like use your, you don't have, you don't have to have your hands all occupied with the paddle while you're push pulling yourself, you have everything on remote control and you have a rod in your other hand. So it's it's like, it makes it makes side casting so much fun. Although I actually haven't really used it side casting yet. Uh, I'm going to though. Uh, I just been, um, like I said, I didn't, I didn't have my battery, so. Dang, that freaking flounder cut my finger. I always have to, I always forget not to put my finger in their freaking mouth. All right, let's see if we can get another one. What's up, Beto? Beto! My man, Beto! Let's see if I can catch another flounder here at these uh, apexes. Looks like the, the current is outgoing. So you got some moving water, which is good. Oh man, there's a lot of bait down there. Four feet. All right, we've been running almost 45 minutes at 40, 40, exactly 45 minutes. I'm going to cut it off so I can let you guys go on about your lives. But I'm so happy I caught a fish, man. <laughs> Thanks, Sloshy. I appreciate that. I appreciate you guys joining me on a live stream. I know there's other things to do. You're, you got busy lives. Some of you have kids, wives. I just appreciate all the support that you guys give me on the channel, whether you know, you're watching a regular video or you're a regular commenter or you're a regular person that hits the like button a lot. You know, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I really do appreciate it. One day, brothers, one day we're gonna take this channel full time and we're just gonna be fishing everywhere. Right now we're only limited to the Texas coast because I work full time, but once I become a full time YouTuber, if it ever happens, we're going to go across the nation, man. We're going to, it's going to be good, man. I'm, 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 I have dreams about this. I, I promise. And it's a, uh, it's a goal that I set. It's kind of a silly goal, I guess, if you think about it. Like, why do you want to be a full-time YouTuber? But you know, 
I've done, I've done all other, I've, I've met other goals in my life. I mean, I've become a professional. I got my doctorate degree. I have a, I got married. I have kids. Uh, I have a house, you know, I mean, you know, why not have fun now, right? <laughs> all right, guys, I'm going to cut it quits right there. We got some bank fishermen, kayakers around the edge of the grass right there. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, we don't want to interfere with their fishing. All right, guys. I'll catch you guys on the next one, man. Talk to you later.